Hello there, everybody. This is Drunk Goomba 1645, and welcome back to more Let's Replay Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. Today, we are finally going to start Shadow Story, so let's begin now. coming from Dr. Eggman's base. Our last communication with our agent was 26 hours ago. We expect an immediate rescue. Shadow the Hedgehog. Understood. Initiating the mission now. What is he up to this time? Okay, here we go. First level with Shadow the Hedgehog. Well, that was kind of an epic fail to start. Great, huh? Always fun to start with a fail like that, and... Boom! Alright! Man, I love breaking the walls in the game. I really, really do. So, as you pretty much noticed, Shadow is quite different than what he used to be. He used to be, like, the second fastest thing alive, and now he's nowhere in his clubs. Just sad and lame, but hey, still, I like him the way he is now. Is it a bad thing that he's slightly slower in this game than he is in some of the other games? But yes, what am I saying? I'm not sure, and I'm sorry for cursing. There should be a switch somewhere. Indeed. First, silver out. There we are. Okay. Apparently, the camera loves getting caught behind trees. One thing I'm going to mention about Shadow, and pretty much his controls, they're pretty much the same as Sars, except he... He can actually perform aerial combos by pushing the A button repeatedly as he's going through and uh, attacking the enemy. After he lands his homing attack, then just uh, simply keep hitting the A button a certain number of times, and there you go, you can execute a pretty good number of hits on the enemy. When you first start out, I think you get, go up to a maximum of a six hit combo, but don't put me on that. Alright. Sweet. Here we go. Next area, here we come. We got out of the base, but security's really high. Let's see. Alright, let's go over the controls with Rouge. Rouge pretty much controls the same way as Knuckles and Tails in a sense. Rouge does not have uh, the ability to actually fight, more or less, she throws projectiles to, uh, you know, just do things like that. So, moreover, she actually controls more like Knuckles than anyone. But hey, I don't mind having repeat characters. Alright, that wasn't too bad. I wonder, who is this captured agent, though? The heck? Did I just throw a bomb through the ice? Oh, man. This game and its glitches. You can't get enough of them. So, what can I talk about today? Truthfully, I have nothing when it comes to... I just got nothing in the story. Nothing's coming to mind at the moment. Dr. Eggman is in the shadow. Why you? Shucks, Rouge. Okay, so in order to progress, we just got to do stuff. It looks like that armed August runs. Okay. Now let's go over vehicle controls now, shall we? Shadow, unlike other characters, is the only one who can actually drive vehicles. The controls are not exactly that simple, especially if you're playing a racing game on the Xbox 360. You're used to the accelerator being on the right trigger, 
Well, in all actuality, the acceleration button is the A button. Pretty much in the days of old. You know, which makes a lot of sense. This really does. Two. If you want to know how you can reverse, just simply push and hold the X button. That's how you reverse the vehicle, and the fire missiles just simply push the right trigger. Each vehicle is... Well, actually, there are two kinds of vehicles. There are these buggies here, and there is also a motorcycle which you'll be able to drive a little while later. Probably in the future level or something. Ooh. Well, abandon the vehicle! <laughs> About to die? Abandon the vehicle and just pray the guy you can actually make it to safety. Which is what I did. If your vehicle ends up getting destroyed, another one will spawn nearby, so not all hope is lost. Just an FYI. Just in case you you know, just drive yourself insane. No pun intended. So our main objective for this area is actually pretty simple. We gotta destroy all of the searchlights in the area, and then that'll be the end of the level. So yeah, what Acropolis for Shadow is pretty short, but still, it can be challenging at times, especially when enemies are getting away. See, I don't like. Alrighty. Well, that wasn't good. Also, you may notice that little bar on the lower right? Yep. After you destroy an X amount of enemies, you'll be able to go into what I like to call aggro mode. Or something. I have no idea what the actual mode is called. I'm thinking aggro. Aggro makes sense. Wow. Greatest aim in the world. I should be an MLG elitist. <laughs> not, not even close. Oh, Smeg. Dang it! Not what I wanted to happen. Oh well. Let's give this another go. It looks like that arm to put him on the right. Getting out of the vehicles is pretty simple, just push the Y button and get in and out. Just as Shadow explained, is the ball to go. Also, if you flip a vehicle over, you might as well get out of there, because the vehicle is just going to be useless for you. Spank! Whew! Jeez, Lord, please, holy God, my, please, help me! Whoo, baby, that was close. That was a serious close call, man. I thought I was gonna freaking die there. But no, thank God I was able to get out of there alive. And in one piece. You gotta love Shadow's aerial combos, though. They rarely do come through in a pinch. And also, you can actually jump from enemy to enemy in successive, you know, successive holding attacks and continue executing combos. Until you hit the ground. Which is freaking awesome. Also, to activate aggro mode, just simply push the right trigger when you're on foot. Nothing, because I have the worst aim ever. Let's see, what else can I talk about? Vehicle controls. Vehicle controls, in my opinion, they're pretty good. They're pretty good for what they are. At least they're not too complicated. Not until you get to the flying segment. Oh god, that is an absolute mess. Flying controls, I'll go over later, but right now, driving controls on the ground, they're good. And that's the way it's going to be. Alright. 
Nice hit. Also, you can make the vehicle go into a little turbo mode by double tapping the A button twice. However, sometimes it'll actually consume some health. So keep this in mind when you're doing stuffs and trying to activate turbo mode on your vehicles and just trying to get out of there. Heck, even landing on all four wheels sometimes, if you're not specific enough, and also it'll randomly decide to drop health. Why? I have no clue. But apparently that's how it works. But thankfully the spawning of all the vehicles are incredibly generous. So you don't need to worry about being out of vehicle and then not being able to complete the objective. Also, the rockets on this vehicle, ooh, they hunt in on enemy targets, so no need to worry that much unless you're going after the towers. Yeah, thanks. Alright, well, at least that laser barricade's down. And also the reload speed upon the rockets of this vehicle in particular. Oh, okay. Here I was having a seizure and the vehicle almost just gave up. Wow. Okay, the vehicle is really badly damaged. Okay. Why? I have no clue because I'm a terrible driver. And all that you while, I'm not a bad driver in real life. Really not. All right, easy thirty rings. Okay, give me the new one. Thank you. Let's roll. After I hit a rock. Wow, set that robot flying all the way to freaking Kingdom Come. That is awesome. Watch the last searchlights up there. How am I gonna get up there? That is a mystery that we shall soon solve. Also, the break game just simply hold the X button until you completely stop. Same as the reverse controls. Let's see, where is. Oh, there it is. Not too hard to find. Here we go, last search light, and... I freaking missed! Don't I missed! And I missed the jump, so now I gotta make all my way all the way back over. Freaking lame. Also, resetting the camera definitely helps, especially when you're caught in the corner. I'm trying to recenter the camera behind you. I swear, the hitboxes of the vehicles are not very generous. Alright, enemy tower destroyed. Now, where... Okay, cool. I won! That's it! That was the last one. Guess that was alright. <laughs> not bad. Could've been faster though, but hey. Better than nothing, I always say. Also, I know there's a really interesting glitch that you can do with Shadow. Once you clear the stage, you can actually keep going. I'm serious, you can keep moving around on foot if you happen to execute it right. But most of the time, at least with me, that doesn't happen. Don't you want to know what this is? My assignment was to rescue you, nothing more. Fine. With you, it's always business. Oh, great. Enemy reinforcements. It seems they don't want us to leave. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Looks like the robots were not alone, because he say hello to the reskin of the Egg Cerberus. The doctor's guard dog. Still, I need to get through here. Okay. 
Here we go. Second Egg Genesis. I mean, Egg Cerberus. Why did I call it the Egg Genesis? They're both entirely different things. The same strategy applies as you employed in Sonic Storm. What you have to do is very simple. Just wear the Egg, egg Cerberus out, hop on it, and run it into the wall. That is how you win. And that is exactly what I'm gonna do. I still haven't showed off Shadow's aggro mode yet. I could have become a Yeah, thanks. That is what I'm planning to do, Motherfush. And there we go. Get on, you little doggy. Boom, baby. Now it's my turn. I'm not sure, but I think if you get caught in the spotlight, then enemy reinforce reinforcements will actually come and try to destroy you. But usually they're very easy to take out, so you don't need to worry about enemy reinforcements that often. Once again, same old strategy, same old song. Don't! So much for that. Jesus! Holy shnipes! I can't believe that almost worked! Please don't kill me. Thank you. At least the invincibility frame didn't give out. Oh god. Here we go again with the egg servers trying to charge its jump and trying to kill us. I think it's so stupid. There we go! Crashes to the wall, gosh dang it. Come on! There we go! Maybe one more hit should do it. If not, it's two. I'm gonna say one. Because it looks like it's gonna be one. And that's good. And the repeat the good old song and dance. Why? Because we're awesome. We are Shadow the freaking hedgehog. We can Holy jeez! Okay, apparently he learned a new trick. He was able to throw me off. But only once. And it cost it its life. Again. And there we go! The Egg Genesis- I mean, Egg Cerberus is defeated. Why did I call it the other thing? I have no bloody clue. Not even a challenge. Wow. Just a few points shy from an S rank. Wow. Impressive young shadow. But watch out for enemies in the asteroid field. Soliana, the city of water. It has a constitutional monarchy, you know. The primary industries are tourism and crafting precision machinery. The current sovereign is Princess Elise III. Why does Eggman's base lead to an odd place like this? How should I know? I just followed my orders and retrieved the item. Anyway, I have a little favor to ask of you. Could you escort me to the GUN rendezvous point? Where's the rendezvous point? It's the ancient castle of Soliana in Kingdom Valley. Rouge, respond. 
bond. I've prepared the means to go to Kingdom Valley. Go to the forest cave immediately. Okay. Well, that's taken care of. Our next objective is to head to the rendezvous point, and yeah, cause awesome things to happen if you're our next assignment. But first, this. And this. So, we'll thing with the abilities with Shadow and Silver. They don't have as many abilities as Sonic the Hedgehog, and they also cannot use gems. So yeah, just thought I'd let you guys know about that. Let's see, where is the next area? I know it's the Forest Cave, but where? If I remember correctly, it should be around this way. I could have sworn there was a silver bell here. Oh, here's the entrance right here. Alright, let's go! I have no idea how long that uh, loading screen took, but it took a little bit of time, like around 20 seconds. Anyways, I'm going to end this video here and start splitting things up and stuff like that. Anyways, this is Drunk Goopa 1645 with Let's Split. Let's replay Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. Thank you guys so much for watching, and next time we'll be heading into the Kingdom Valley and heading to the rendezvous point. So yeah, see you guys next time.